Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am doing a workout here and I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm doing a core and low body workout. 20 toe taps here, reaching and tapping the toes. Kind of a V-sit actually. And then we move on to a C curl crunch. So you want to shoot up, move the arms forward, take it up above your head and roll back down in a C shape. So you shoot up and then take your time coming back down so you're really squeezing those core muscles. I will be talking as and when it's needed in my videos, describing the workout that I'm doing. And we have the seated half crunch. With this specific movement, you really want to lift your upper trunk through your core. It may look like it's a subtle movement, but believe me you, all the energy is coming from your core muscles. And our third exercise here is a oblique twist, elbow to floor. Again, we're keeping the core exercises flowing, so you're going to be feeling a burning sensation in your core, which means you're on the right track. And you really want to get your elbows to touch the floor on the opposite side as you move your upper body. Next up, we have a side plank. I raise my leg up to intensify the workout. Hold in there for 10 seconds and repeating the same thing on the opposite direction. Bear in mind guys, I did three sets of 20 of each exercise, but I'm only demonstrating the first round on my YouTube channel. Moving on to the lower body, I am doing walkouts here. So three sets of 10 with a small jump, walking out gradually and walking back gradually. We are not speeding here, very small movements, but has a massive impact. I'm going to give you guys a secret of easing out from these exercises, and that is to breathe. Make sure you are breathing and controlling your body movement alongside your breath. If you're out of control, worried about the next movement, wishing to quit and walk away, that is not going to help. Control your breathing, control your movements. Excuse the facial expression. Guys, excuse the mosquito bites that I've got all over my leg. And sometimes you may see that my stomach is rolling when I'm doing certain exercises. Guys, that is very, very normal. Moving on to reverse lunges using a resistant band. I love this exercise. It works my quads, hamstrings, my balance, my inner thighs. I've done 
three sets of 20, you could do one round, two or three, depending on the level of your fitness. I love to use a resistant band in my workouts. It just intensifies the workout for me, especially around my gluteal area. No wasting time, keeping the bands on, and we are going to be stepping out to the side away from the center using the resistant bands. So I've done 10 sets on one side, 10 on the other side, and you wanna keep that going for three rounds. Next up here, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. However, this time, I'm going to be stepping out at a three point base. So that is forward to the side center and to my reverse. So you would do 10 mm -hmm. steps, keeping the bands on and doing the same thing on the opposite side. Moving on to squat jumps, three sets of 20 in your own time. I've pushed my bands slightly higher so I could feel the intensity in my glute. The more you watch my workout videos, the more you catch my flow of how I count my numbers. I always start from one to 10, even if I'm going to do 50 sets or 50 reps or whatever it may be. Moving on, we have a low reverse lunge, keeping the bands on, staying low, focusing here, pushing away. Guys, I know this probably looks so simple, but it is pretty intense, I tell you that. Without any break, we are going to move on to our three side step. As you guys could see, I am pushing away from the center, working my side glutes. I was actually looking forward to creating this video using my brand new professional mic, but guess what? <laughs> I couldn't actually get the mic to work, so that's gonna be for another video. Moving forward, we have good mornings here with the resistant band. The tip here for you guys is to plant your feet to the ground and push from your heels. If you want perky glutes, this exercise is for you. As we build intensity in our legs, we're gonna blast through these squat jumps with no break, we're gonna get right into reverse lunges. Next up, we have walkouts into shoulder taps. Tap, tap, core facing down, fully locked and engaged taking it easy, walking back out. The tip here is your hips are not meant to sway right to left when you're performing your shoulder taps. See here? There's no swaying in the hips. It's all coming from the core. If your hips are involved, that means your core isn't activated. And that is the final exercise for this workout routine. Gosh, my facial expressions are doing the most. My sweat patch is a different story. But hey, it is what it is. Guys, if you stuck around and did the workout with me, great on you. If you haven't, you could save this video and try it yourself for another day. You could do this anywhere in the world. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more workout videos as such. For now, this is it for me. I'll see you guys soon. Stick around for more videos. Loads of love.